If you experience parts moving on your table, it can often be remedied by changing the order of the cuts. In today's episode of Did You Know It, Dan? I'll show you how to do that. So we'll start out here as normal. We'll go to our auto toolpath with our normal settings. We'll select all of our parts and we'll finish. And then we can go extend the cuts to the border, first of all selecting our border, and then selecting the ends of the cut paths to extend to it. I am going to choose not to extend the miter cuts. This will leave a better platform for the foot of my height sensor probe. I will extend some of the straight cuts so that my pieces are easier to take out. I will extend the ends of these cuts so I can save this rectangular remnant for a different job. I'll choose this order of cuts icon to open the order of cuts panel in my project manager on the left side. And a lot of times we're told to just move the miters to the top, which we can do this way by clicking on one of the cuts that's a miter and pressing the red arrow key until it's at the top of the list, which will cut all the miters first, but in no certain order. This will help with part hold down but there may be better options. I'm going to choose to use the 1, 2, 3 order method from my edit menu. Here I can pick the exact order of the cuts so my parts have the best chance of not moving. I'll pick the icon to open the window and I'll choose to order my tool paths manually. And I'll select both options to display labels and to move the first toolpath to the start. And when I click OK, I can see the labels as the toolpaths are currently ordered. Here is the first toolpath labeled 1.1, then 1.2. The first one means that they were part of Operation 1, which is saw blade cuts. Operation 2 in this program are water jet cuts, which we'll see here. We can physically pick the order of the toolpaths on our drawing in this 1, 2, 3 order command. And we're prompted to select the first one at the bottom of our screen. I'm going to start with miter cuts, and I'll start right up here and work my way down and around. And you'll notice, as you select toolpaths, the labels will change accordingly. And after I select these four miters, I'm going to choose to make this straight cut along the ends. I'll try to cut the ends of especially the longer skinny parts before I break them away from the main slab. And next, I'll cut these two miters, which will break only the countertop free from the material. And next, I'll select this straight cut, which will also cut the end of the apron. Next, I'll select this straight cut, which will release the apron from the main material. And then this straight cut, which will release this apron from the main material. Now this top and these aprons are free. Then I'll cut these two miters next, which will release the countertop from the material slab. And then I'll make the two straight cuts to release each of the miters. I'll select to cut this one first, before I select this one, which breaks everything away from what's left of my material slab. And now that I'm done selecting all the cuts, I'll right click to finish. Now I can see the program's order when I look at it in the Program Manager panel. To review, I can click on the top one and then I'll press the down arrow key on my keyboard and watch the screen go through the order that the program will follow. And note that it follows the same order that we selected while using 1, 2, 3 order. And you can still make minor adjustments using the red up and down arrow key if needed. And when you're satisfied, you can send the G code to the machine. Thank you for watching. Now you know what I know. One more thing. Did you know that we have 
hundreds of resources available on our website for machine training and service. To find them, go to parkindustries.com. Thank you for choosing Park Industries. Thank <laughs> you.